Welcome back to Joystick News, where we keep our fingers on the pulse of the gaming world and deliver all the electrifying updates straight to you. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that's been stirring up quite the conversation in the Xbox community. We're talking about the upcoming titan of a game, Senua's Saga, Hellblade 2, and a significant update that's got the fanbase buzzing and not necessarily in a good way. So grab your controllers, folks, because this is one you're going to want to hear about. Senua's Saga Hellblade 2, developed by Ninja Theory, is one of those games that has been riding high on every Xbox player's watch list. Anticipated as a sequel to the groundbreaking Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, it's been under the spotlight since its announcement back in 2019. As we edge closer to its release date on May 21, 2024, a piece of news has emerged that's caused quite the stir. Hellblade 2 will be launching with a major restriction on Xbox Series XS. It will run at a capped 30 FPS without a performance mode option. Now, for the uninitiated, frame rates in games are kind of a big deal. They affect how smoothly the game plays and how visually pleasing the experience is. Higher frame rates like 60 FPS make for a more fluid and responsive gameplay experience. So, the news that Hellblade 2 will be locked at 30 FPS without the option to boost performance has left many fans scratching their heads and feeling disappointed. Mark Slater Tunstill, the VFX director behind Hellblade 2, revealed to GamePro that this decision was made to give the game a more cinematic feel on the Xbox Series XS, but he didn't clarify whether this was a technical limitation of the hardware, particularly the Xbox Series S, or a stylistic choice. This distinction is crucial because it raises questions about whether future updates might allow for higher frame rates or if this cap is a permanent fixture. It's worth noting that while this limitation is exclusive to the Xbox Series XS, PC gamers will breathe a sigh of relief knowing that they won't face the same restriction. This discrepancy between platforms is sure to be a point of contention among fans who value performance and visual fidelity in their gaming experience. Despite this, there's still a lot of optimism surrounding Hellblade 2. Internal reviews and mock reviews have reportedly been glowing, with insiders suggesting an average score hovering around the 90 mark. This speaks volumes about the game's quality and the unique gameplay features it promises to bring to the table in 2024. However, this isn't the first time an Xbox console exclusive has faced scrutiny over frame rate limitations. Last year, Redfall encountered similar issues leading to a rocky launch. This history adds a layer of concern to the expectations surrounding Hellblade 2's performance and reception upon release. Amidst this controversy, rumors have been swirling about the game's potential availability on PS5, adding fuel to the speculative fire about Microsoft's strategy concerning platform exclusivity, while some Xbox titles have made the jump to other platforms, Phil Spencer, head of Xbox, has indicated that these were older titles that had already maximized their audience reach on Xbox, a situation that doesn't currently apply to Hellblade 2. So where does this leave us, the gamers eagerly awaiting the arrival of Senua's saga Hellblade 2? It leaves us with questions, certainly, about the balance between artistic vision and technical performance, about platform exclusivity, and about how these decisions impact our experience as players. We want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Hellblade 2's FPS cap? Is the trade-off for a cinematic experience worth it, or would you prefer the option to push for higher performance? And how does this influence your view on platform exclusivity and the future of Xbox releases? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. As always, we'll keep you updated with the latest news and insights from the gaming world. Until next time, stay tuned and keep gaming.